It has only been a week since we last checked in on the construction progress at Universal Epic Universe. However, BioReconstruct never takes a day off, and he has provided us some new, exciting aerial views of the new theme park Universal will be opening next year in 2025. In such a short time period, there has been amazing progress made in the construction progress and ride testing all around the park. From the barrel that the minecart coaster will shoot through in Donkey Kong Country, to Starfall Racers starting ride testing, to new detailed theming coming to life in Dark Universe. All of that and more in this week's Universal Epic Universe Construction Update. Starting this week's update in the shadows of Helios Grand Hotel and the land based off of Universal Monsters Dark Universe. Just in front of the entry portal, where last week we saw the portal plate installed, the entry courtyard is starting to take shape. The concrete form for the outside of the courtyard is just now starting to be installed in preparation for concrete in the coming weeks. Inside of the village, this week there is not much additional work that has been spotted. There is still work going on, but nothing worth noting. As guests leave the village, thought to be named Darkmoor, and enter the forest, guests are met by the gothic style manor where there is another courtyard beginning to take shape. This courtyard matches the radius of the stone wall that leads into the manor gateway. Looking at this courtyard, it seems that there will be a garden in the center of this shape located where the smaller circle is. The side towers of the manor have been revealed for the first time since the frames were erected earlier this year. Along the foundation of the manor, we can see vines covering the foundation also being covered in plastic. These vines will give the manor an overgrown haunted look. Just to the left side of the manor, more trees have been placed on the side of the walkway that workers have been pouring for the last several updates. These trees only add to the effect that guests are walking through a haunted forest. Over at Burning Blades Tavern, scaffolding has been installed once again on the front of the windmill. This can only mean that work is starting on installing the blades of the windmill. Hopefully soon, we will see that scaffolding removed and the blades installed in all of their glory. In the land next door to Dark Universe is the complete opposite world of Super Nintendo World, where there is a fairly large piece of theming that has arrived on site. The barrel that guests will be shot through on the minecart coaster has been spotted for the first time. This barrel still needs to be installed on the coaster tracks and can be seen sitting on a steel frame in preparation to be lifted into place. Once installed, the barrel will still need to be painted to match what we all remember as the Donkey Kong barrels. Along the tracks of the minecart coaster, where the coaster will splash through a pool, we can see water collecting in this pool for the first time. Does this mean the minecart coaster is beginning to ride test? Or does it just mean that there was a recent rainstorm and they never drained it? On the coaster show building, where we have seen a lot of theming taking place in a large opening between two sections of oversized blocks, there has been a massive jump in progress. There has been a second palm tree added on the opposite side of the first one we saw, as well as a large ring taking up the remaining space. This fills out the entire area between the sections of oversized blocks, and this area seems ready to be painted. Inside of the Mushroom Kingdom, at Yoshi's Adventure, we can see several areas around the ride where steel frames for theming elements can be seen being worked on. Straight across Celestial Park from Super Nintendo World sits the How to Train Your Dragon Land at the Isle of Burke. This week, we can see several predictions coming to fruition that we talked about in last week's update. The first prediction we talked about last update involved the main lagoon that meets guests as they enter the land and the color of the basin. We can see workers now painting the main lagoon in the same color of the boat ride lagoon, which we thought would happen last update. Overlooking the lagoon sits the full service dining location thought to be named Mead Hall, where at the top of the mountain, we can see a tiny house. It is thought that this tiny house may be Gothi's hut from the movies. 
Grog and Gruel has also seen more exterior painting since the last time we flew through this land. Behind the spinning rides, the grandstands are making more progress with the main framing, as we see, is a little more than halfway complete. At the top of this structure, we can see the uneven beams of the grandstands following the main beams. At the first launch of the Lands Coaster, we have a better look of those mechanical theming elements inside of the launch, giving the effect of being launched into the air by Hiccup's flying machine. Next to the entry portal to the land, there has been grass planted around the coaster tracks and the sheep perched on the rocks in the center of the coaster tracks. Now, onto the most exciting part of this update, which is found at the dueling roller coaster in Celestial Park, Starfall Racers. For the first time, we can see the fully themed coaster train. This is the first coaster train in all of Epic Universe that has not been covered or partially put together during ride testing. These coaster trains are themed as comets and at night are lit up to give the effect of comets racing each other for the guests of Celestial Park and the rest of Epic Universe. Behind the load station for Starfall Racers, the foundation work is continuing around the overflow queue area for the coaster. At the front of the load station, where the comet theming element has been surrounded in scaffolding for quite some time, has been unveiled. Only a small section of scaffolding remains at the base of the comet. We can also see that the wrapping around the coaster tracks in this area has been removed as well. With the coaster train on track and the removing of this wrapping, it is safe to assume that Starfall Racers is the latest ride at Epic Universe to be conducting ride testing. In front of Atlantic, which is one of the full service dining locations of Celestial Park, one of the water feature basins has been painted blue to match the main show fountain at the back of Celestial Park. It is likely that the remaining water fountains around Celestial Park will be painted in this color as well. Inside of the waterfalls that meet guests as they enter Epic Universe, there have been some bushes planted on the small islands that are not accessible to guests. We will likely see more bushes added around the waterfalls in the coming updates. As we make our way out of Epic Universe into the entrance area to the park, there have been a number of trees planted between the security plaza and the bus drop-off loop. The resorts of Stella Nova and Terra Luna have seen a lot of tire work as well since the last time we checked in. The section of Stella Nova that remained to be completed where the construction cranes were installed on the exterior of the hotel has started to see those tiles installed in this location. Over at Terra Luna, the first section of tiles that were started several weeks ago have now wrapped around the end of the hotel and are starting to make their way down the opposite side. There has also been a second section of tiles started on the opposite end of the hotel, making its way towards the beginning of the first set of tiles. With that, this wraps up this week's quick update of the construction progress of Universal Epic Universe. I want to thank BioReconstruct for his aerial views as always, and do not forget to subscribe so you do not miss the next Universal Epic Universe construction update. Until next time, travelers, have a great one.